हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं सब प्रकाश गुड है असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यमुलेट एक्सल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज भिलवाड़ा आई होप यू आर लाइकिंग माय वीडियोस इन लास्ट वीडियोस वी आर टॉक अबाउट दी स्पिनिंग ऑफ पार्शियली ओरिएंटेड यान एंड फुल्ली ओरिएंटेड यान सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वील टॉक अबाउट दी स्ट्रिंग फिनिश एंड इन दिस वील टॉक अबाउट वट इज द मेन रोल ऑफ योर स्पिन फिनिश इन द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ योर फाइबर सो as well as that the manufactured fibers requires this spin finish for efficient processability and its conversion into textile material for various application although spin finish is just a layer of only few molecules on the surface of fiber the one of the most important variables that is dictating the performance the quality and uniformity of processing so we'll see the what is the role of this spin finish so there are three basic role of your spin finish one is your lubrication second is your anti static properties area and the cohesion why there is a necessity of lubrication property in the spin finish to reduce this friction between a yarn and metallic surface because that filament are passing through different metallic parts so they need to sustain that friction between yarn and metallic part and due to that the lubrication property should be there the next role it is your anti static properties as it is the man made fibers the static charge generations are more to dissipate the static charge generation we need to have the the spin finish should have the anti static property and because due to the contact with the yarn and machine part there could be chances of your static charges at the same time the third most important point is the cohesion between your fibers to keep this filament together there should have the cohesion between all this element so that the unwinding become easier and if you want to get this all these three property what are the different molecules are necessary the lubrication can be provided by aliphatic or alkyl molecules which having the low van der waals forces and if you talk about the anti static property can be provided or anti static and cohesion is provided by the polar molecules which have the strong hydrogen ionic bonding and that will provide the path for your charge dissipations so since this spin finish this both the types of molecules that is aliphatic alkyl molecules or polar molecules so it has been generally made by the emulsifying alkyl chain molecules with the help of surfactant in the aqueous medium so we need to balance between these two ingredients is much more important to achieve the optimum the properties which has been needed in the spin finish now we'll see what are the basic properties are necessary in the spin finish that i have already said that they need to perform the three basic functions one is your lubrication provide the surface lubrication to the fiber or filament third is the second is your anti static action and third is a good fiber to fiber cohesion in order to perform this functions this spin finish should follow the desirable properties the first is it should provide the good lubrication property to reduce the fiber to metal friction in order to prevent the fiber abrasion and maintain low uniform tension during a processing the second is to reduce the static charge which has been built during processing third part is to a balanced degree of cohesion is necessary as too much lubricity may also causes the fiber slippage so due to that we need to take care that the lubrication should not be much that much so that it will causes the fiber slippage and that will also result in your package distortion in winding the fourth one properties required is desirable properties control viscosity range if it is too low viscosity that will also causes the product difficulty in slinging and the low yarn frictional value while if it is viscosity is too high it will causes the excessive add on coupled with the high frictional values the fourth desirable property required is the for the consistent viscosity the spin finish must be resistant to the bacterial growth because in the spin finish there could be chances of bacterial growth so the for we need to have the antibacterial agents in that spin finish and it will should not allow should not form a insoluble resilience compound in presence of oxygen the sixth important desirable property is your scourability 
or we can say that ease of removal. Poor scalability which would lead to e have the dying problem and if you have the potential of your soiling spots. It must be the corrosion resistance and should not cause the damage to the roller, guide or needle. So these are most important point because it should be corrosion resistance. It should not cause the damage to your any metallic part that could be the guide because it is passing through the different guides or rollers or needles. The eight desired properties here, it should be non-allergic one, non-toxic and ecological acceptable. And the next part is the spin finish are generally applied in immersion. Hence, they should have the, should be easily emulsy flyable. So we have seen there are nine properties which are desirable for the spin finish to perform all these three functions that is lubrication, anti-static action and good fiber to fiber cohesion. So in next slide, we'll see what are the different components of your spin finish. So generally, there are three basic components of your spin finish. One is your lubricant, anti-static agent and emulsifying. Other than that, there are certain different antibacterial agents and antioxidant agents has been added into the spin finish. So the lubrication, we can use the natural lubricant that could be your mineral oil, wax, vegetable oil, coconut oil and that animal oil and fat. In terms of synthetic lubricant, there are esters, butyl steroid, fatty alcohols. These are certain lubricants which can be the component of your spin finish. The in terms of your antistatic agents, these are the that could be your ionic one, cationic one, and amphoteric one. So in ionic, that could be, for example, you have the alkyl acid, phosphate, and their salt. Similarly, if you talk about the cation, we have the quaternary, ammonium, iridium, and different compounds such as the chloride metho and etho sulfate, alkyl amine oxide and if you talk about the emulsifiers, in emulsifiers also you have the four different categories. One is your anionic one emulsifier, cationic emulsifier, non-ionic and amphoteric. The example for your anionic emulsifier is your fatty acid soap and if you talk about the cationic that is your fatty amine ethoxylated fatty amine, quaternary amine, ammonium and non-ionic non could be your polyglycol, polyglycol esters, ethers, glycerin, fatty acid esters and amphoteric are amino acid, amino acid and their salt and betanine. So generally if you see in your spinning line, melt spinning line, the spinning room and take up room are normally separated with the floor and which has the two different atmospheric pressure. Generally, the spinning room atmospheric pressure is higher, slightly higher than that of your take-up room. And this will allow the part of cooling air to flow along your delicate, freshly spun air. And this filament are given the spin finish at the end of your spinning line. As we have seen in the mid spinning line, at the, after the spinning has been completed, there we have applying this spin finish onto your filament and by the, that can be applied by different many techniques that could be your kiss roll technique there could be your melt metering technique that could be your dipping method technique or spray technique so this finish has been normally sprayed onto your filament in high speed machine so we'll see what are the different techniques of your spin finish application the first technique is a dipping roller method so this is the schematic sketch of your dipping roller method has been here. This is one of the oldest method and most, mostly widely used method for your spin finish application. In this we can see that there is a roller which rotate at certain constant speed and which has been partially immersed into your trough. And the trough having this spin finish solutions which has been supplied from your overhead tank and there is overflow arrangement has been made for your constant level of filling with the excess solutions has been flowing back to your intermediate vessel. And this finish finish is ultimately adds on the surface of roller. If you see here, it is partially deep into this stuff and if it is rotating this and they will carry this lubricant 
or you can say that the spin finish along with on the surface of this roller and this will ultimately adds to the roller surface in the film form and this film thickness is ultimately depend upon the three basic parameters one is your the speed of this roller next is your viscosity of this solution and the concentration of your spin finish solution the filament yarn which is coming from your spinning it generally touching your this koski's roll at tangentially or at slightly certain wrapping angle and direction of this yarn traveling and the roller rotation should be same the, the care must be taken that what is the direction of your yarn and direction of your roller rotation that should be same if it is moves in opposite direction what will happen there should be more splashing and this finish application is also greater so the during this processing we need to take care that roller direction and the yarn direction should be same the lubrication application is also depend upon the lubricant viscosity and its wetting property and the roller speed which must be determined so this basically method is bestly suitable for your high filament denier and other products which are relatively required the high amount of spin finish to be applied uniformly for example carpet yarns and staple fibers this method is normally also called as the kiss roll method now we are saying that this is a dipping roller method and that can be called as a dipping roller method or kiss roller method the disadvantage of this system is a certain degree of irregularity in the application however it may not be determined in most of the cases because this system is open it could be more related to the bacterial growth so the excess amount of account of this system its advantage and disadvantage with the comparison with smitting finish has been given by this vaidya and different researchers we'll see the next method that is your mitring finish method since the this basically with the introduction of your high speed spinning the mitring finish system has been established itself because it is it has the ability to apply this spin finish onto your yarn exactly and uniformly and in this figure we can see that a meter finish application systems the yarn guide is there yarn guide is supplied with the spin finish formation by means of gear pump the pump gear pump is there and most of this lubricating yarns guides are generally made out of sintered aluminum oxide and excessive expensive closed circuit is used for highly bacterial sensitive spin finishes the factors which affecting this operation of the system is your variation in revolution of your pump drive this is a pump drive where if you are variation in the speed of this pump drive what is the viscosity of that spin finish and differential pressure across this pump and this system is i already said is basically suitable for your high speed spinning process both for your polyester and nylon and fine counts and for subsequent processes including your friction texturing process also no guide is required here prior to the applicator hence there is a less drag than in the systems with the thread guide so thank you so much students for your kind attention in this lecture we have talk about the what is the basic role of your spin finish its what are the different spin finish desirable properties are needed what are different components and there are different application methods of your spin finish so subscribe my channel excel gyan stay tuned like comment and share this video